Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47. In this episode, I wanna talk about a couple of things. Number one, recently I was invited by Ari to go to Italy, amazing. Myself and nine other photographers, some of whom were also cinematographers, and we were invited there for a lighting and photography symposium. What is that? Well, I didn't really know when we were invited, but it was many things, one of which was to work together. So I got to work together with some of these amazing photographers, and I also got to work with some amazing gear, mainly sky panels, which I have a lot of experience with, and also their L-series LEDs, give feedback on the future of where all of that stuff is going, and most importantly, just to create. I am standing inside of one of the rooms in a villa in Milan. So I decided today after I shot in the morning that what I wanted to do was walk around and actually document a little bit of what was going on so that you could see that. And as you can see here, these tools are being used to their fullest and people were shooting primarily photographs with the sky panels and the L series. What's exciting here is we're starting to see because cameras are so sensitive now to light that we can start to use continuous light, not only for motion, but also for stills. And it's been a trend, but now when we start to look at fixtures like the sky panel S360, which I had not seen, which is Another fixture in the sky panel line has all the functionality, but the output is enormous. Um, you can really see where things are going in terms of lighting and the flexibility we're gonna have in the future. What's exciting to me is that most of the cameras that we're shooting with now are capable of not only really high dynamic range, but also incredibly uh, wide color gamuts. And as we start to move away from 709 and we start to get into what's being called HDR, we are going to need tools in terms of lighting that are gonna be able to support what our cameras are capable of capturing and also creatively what we're trying to do. And so when we take a look at lights like the sky panel series, then that's what we're really starting to look at in terms of these creative tools. And that's super exciting. Once we have the displays to actually see what our cameras are capturing and the dynamic range and the color gamut that we're getting, and we start to move into P3 color space and eventually Rec 2020, then it's gonna get really exciting. But Ari is way ahead. They are already making tools that are gonna to be able to do that. It's just the displays that have to catch up. So this has been incredibly exciting, incredibly inspiring. Hopefully seeing some of this footage also um, gets you guys excited. And we were all told to bring one camera system with us and that could be the camera of our choice. And I have been an owner for many years of the previous version of this camera here from Fuji, the XE2. And I decided that for this trip that I would bring the XE3, which is a rangefinder based mirrorless camera, APS-C based sensor system. I brought three lenses with me. I brought this 56 millimeter f1.2. I brought the kit lens, which is one of the best kit lenses that exists out there. It's an 18 to 55. This particular lens, unlike the other two I brought, has image stabilization. That is not built into the camera body. So anytime I wanted to shoot video, I could use that lens. And then the third lens that I brought with me was my trusty 27 millimeter lens here. And this is a little pancake lens that sort of lives on this camera. It's an f2.8. And this is really what I use for street photography, but I really wanted to try one of the big guns here because I knew that we would be shooting, or at least I sensed that we would be shooting portraits. This is some stuff that was actually taken both as street photography in the center of Milan and also as part of this lighting and photography symposium. And so it's pretty amazing to me in terms of what image quality I was getting out of this camera. This is about a $900 US camera body. And that 56 F1.2 is also about $900. Just a few hundred dollars for that 27 millimeter lens. And so it's amazing how far we've come. This is a camera that I could not recommend more. 
I absolutely love the way this camera works and the images that it produces. But more than anything else, it actually held up to the task of being in that environment with Ari, with all of these amazing photographers, and being able to experiment. And it was the first time that I had used the camera. I literally got on the airplane with it after taking it out of the box and maybe taking five or six photographs with it. And as you can see, image quality is pretty exceptional. It didn't hurt that we had those locations and those amazing light fixtures and the creativity of all of these minds coming together. I can't even begin to tell you what that was like. It was really phenomenal. And as you can see from some of this behind the scenes footage, it was really quite an experience and something that I don't think I'll have a chance to do anytime soon again. Thanks for watching.